The Israeli-based firm AI Health has been working with Optimed to produce a handheld fundus camera that can detect diabetic retinopathy. The Aurora AI is, uh, is our uh, first uh, uh, handheld bundle, which is a handheld camera with, uh, integrated with AI. Using that device, you can screen your patients. It takes uh, a couple of minutes. You have an instant report and, and you're done. This really makes the, the screening accessible and the, the first uh, application of the Aurora AI will be screening for more than mild diabetic retinopathy. One image from each eye is being taken, and then we can create a report. Afterwards, it's created instantly. This report will give you uh, the analysis whether the patient needs to see, needs to have follow-up with physician or not. The analytics itself happens on the cloud in a secured way and goes back to the device so you can see the results. The idea is to make it a really quick, fast, simple, easy process. The Aurora AI can be used by people who have had a few hours training in how to acquire retinal images. Using such training, uh, you can get uh, roughly, uh, I don't want to get to the specifics, but the vast majority uh, 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 potentially uh, between 80 to 90 percent of the people in the first attempt. So those cameras are non metriatic so there is no need for dilation. And so it's really built for those places that haven't done those screenings before. The device is targeted to detect more than mild diabetic retinopathy, which includes macro edema. The aim is that this should cover screening for diabetic patients. Part of our work plan is to add additional capabilities. In, in our company, uh, we have uh, also algorithms for a, a wide range of indications. So, uh, of course, we strive to have as broad uh, uh, analytics as possible. We then moved on to some quick-fire technical questions, starting with, can it differentiate between drusen exudate and hemorrhage. So currently, for instance, in the DR use case, we'll just tell you if you have a referable case that requires this follow-up. Later on, it's definitely uh, the kind of resolution we would be happy to give. Can it show progression? So this is exactly the kind of things we would like to include uh, as, as a, a, I would say, broader decision support indications we can provide. In the U.S. Uh, FDA context, it's more narrow to this uh, binary output, but uh, I'm, uh, we are working on um, uh, those additional aspects we can also include in our report. What field of view are you working on? Today we are uh, focusing on uh, wide field, uh, which is typically 45, 50 degrees. Is there a minimum pupil size? Pupil size that is more than two millimeters should definitely be uh, sufficient. How well does it deal with cataract? Uh, it, it depends uh, on the degree. Uh, usually uh, uh, patients with cataract can be screened uh, like others, uh, but in, in the more serious cases, then it may, uh, it may affect the ability to acquire uh, uh, sufficient quality images.